Mr. Hale's world and this is probably the most powerful and fun tablet in the world. The iPad Pro supercharged with the almighty M1 chip. So let's take a look at what this bad boy can do. So right off the bat, let's chat about the cameras and the front camera got a bit of an upgrade with a much wider angle and a really cool new feature. So if you open up FaceTime, this cool new feature is called center stage and what happens is the camera actually tracks you as you move. So this is great for teachers, lecturers or even just having a family FaceTime call. You can choose to turn off center stage just by heading into settings then selecting FaceTime and right in there you'll see where you can toggle it on or off. And for all those FaceTime calls we're having these days, this feature is pretty nifty. I also love that the back camera has some serious quality and if you click this one times icon, it'll open to that super wide angle and as you can see, it can capture a bunch of your environment. And as mentioned, we have that super wide selfie cam. So if you click on this icon, it toggles to the ultra wide camera and again, as you can see, it captures so much of your environment and is great for when having video calls. Now this one is a bunch of fun and also a bit of an upgrade to the clips application. If you open that up and click on this little effects icon right over there, you'll see this option that says start scan. If you tap on that, it'll prompt you to start scanning the room, which of course you can do. And with that LiDAR on the back, it gets a really good scan. Then what you can do is add effects like this confetti one and it looks so amazing guys. There are so many different effects you can choose from like this disco ball or even this sci-fi looking prism effect. Effect. Of course, the best part is when you actually stand in front of the camera and the effect happens around you. You can film so many cool videos with these amazing effects and basically just get seriously creative. Again, thanks to that LiDAR, it scans the room so well and gives you the most realistic effect. Now a feature I've actually really been loving is the game controller support. So you can actually hook up an Xbox or even PS5 controller to this bad boy and jam a ton of games. It's super simple to do and all that happens is you pop the controller into Bluetooth pairing mode. Then you head on over to Bluetooth settings under the control center and right over there you should see the controller. Tap on it and it'll automatically pair to the iPad Pro. From there you can jam a bunch of different games and as you can imagine it is so much more fun using a controller and thanks to the graphics and performance of this iPad it is pretty addictive. What's so cool is that your iPad also recognizes the game controller and in here you can change a bunch of different settings and even customize the different buttons and controls on your controller. Once all of that is done you can even head to the home screen and if you have this battery widget it'll show the battery percentage of your controller so you never run out of juice and ultimately with this amazing setup, you can jam games just about anywhere. So Apple says the M1 chip is what makes this iPad a beast and insanely good at multitasking. And they weren't lying. I really wanted to put this to the test and see just how well this iPad could perform and it did not disappoint. First up, I opened up LumaFusion with a bunch of different 4K clips in there. I duplicated them, moved things around, then simply went to the home screen and opened up Procreate. This is a digital drawing program, which as you can imagine is very graphic intensive. And from there again, I went to the home screen, then opened up Lightroom, which as many of you guys know, is a photo editing application, which once again is very very graphic intensive. And this iPad just casually performs with no problems at all, which obviously is great. So then straight after closing Lightroom, I opened up Call of Duty with absolutely no problems or lag whatsoever. I ran through every single program once again, scrubbing through footage and then watching the playback of my edited footage. And again, there were no issues whatsoever with lagging, stickiness, you name it. So as you can see, this iPad is a machine and will basically demolish any task you throw at it. By the way, if you're busy enjoying this video, then definitely sub to the channel because we're on the road to 1 million and if you subbed, that would be... <laughs> good, good, good one. As you can see, this iPad is basically like a computer. So if you wanted to use it more like one, you can actually hook it up to an external monitor using an adapter just like this. 
which is an HDMI to USB-C adapter. They are pretty affordable and I will have some links to some down below, but you just plug in the HDMI cable from the monitor and plug the USB-C side into the iPad Pro. Instantly, you'll see the iPad's display pop up on the monitor and what's even crazier is it'll support up to a 6K resolution monitor. I was also very pleasantly surprised at how small the lag was between working on the iPad and seeing it displayed on the monitor. So if you ever wanted to take your iPad to that next level, now you know how. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love a good gesture, and here are some really cool ones that you might not have known existed. So in the notes application, for example, if you wanted to get to the special characters, usually you'd tap on that button, then access the special characters and go back to the keyboard. But if you look closely at the keys, right above each letter is a special character. So instead, what you can rather do is just click swipe down, and as you can see, this special character is typed out every single time, which is so much easier. Then did you know you can copy just about any text from your iPad to your iPhone? You literally just copy the text, then on your phone, click paste and ba bam from your iPad to your iPhone in seconds. Then another cool gesture to easily add emojis is just by clicking and holding down on that space button, moving your cursor and adding an emoji. You don't have to go back to the keyboard every time to move the cursor, you can do it all with an emojis. Then let's just say you're on YouTube or a website and want to quickly go home, then all you do is take five fingers, do a big pinch on the screen and it'll take you home. You can also take three fingers and slowly swipe down on the home screen and it'll reveal the search bar. Now, if you're ever in a pinch and have loads of battery power on your iPad, but not on your iPhone or your AirPods or controller, then just charge them using your iPad. All you do is grab a USB-C to lightning cable, of course pop the USB-C side into your iPad and the lightning adapter into your AirPods. As you can see, the LED indicator lights up and now your AirPods are charging. The exact same goes for your iPhone, where if you just plug it in, it'll instantly start charging. And this can obviously be a huge help when your iPhone's battery is low. The exact same goes for USB-C to C cable. You can plug in your controller and give it extra juice before jamming all your favorite games on the go. Now this is another insanely useful feature and it's dual applications. Let's just say you browse my website for some free wallpapers but then want to open another Google tab in split screen. Well, you just slowly swipe up from the dock, click hold down and drag it to the right hand side of the screen and instantly you have dual applications. You can then search on both sides within Google. This does only work with certain applications but another one is the notes app and again if you swipe up from the dock, click hold down and drag, it'll open in split screen and take down all your notes. Did you know you can also drag and drop within split screen? So if you have photos open on the left hand side, you can simply drop them into notes or even text. You can choose to drag and drop the text or if you simply press copy, click on notes, then tap paste and like that your text will be copied. Let me know down in the comment section if you know any cool things like this. Then onto some other great features, and this one always surprises me simply because of how bad my handwriting is. If you click and hold down on a handwritten note, as you can see, it highlights your handwriting, and then what you can do is simply click on copy as text, then tap paste, and now your handwritten note is in text. Then this is called the scribble feature, and basically within any search bar, you can actually handwrite what it is you're searching for, regardless of how good or bad your handwriting is. It makes life so much easier just being able to handwrite what it is you're searching for, then having to open up the keyboard, then typing out what you're searching for, and so on. So whenever you see a search bar, just remember the scribble feature and scribble it in. Then for all my Safari users out there, let's just say you're on a website and open up quite a couple of different pages, but then find that you want to go back a couple of pages. Well, instead of pushing the back button a couple of times, you can just click hold down on it and it'll show all the pages you have just visited. You can also do this with the page forward button just by clicking, holding down and selecting any of the pages you previously visited. So, like I said, the most powerful and fun tablet in the world, supercharged with that almighty M1 chip. Let me know down in the comment section which was your favorite feature. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!